Hey, this is Charles from Wonder Unit. Um, here I'm going to demonstrate uh, how I pose characters in Storyboarder using Shot Generator. So on the left I have some um, uh, sitting poses that Dan Milligan drew um, to demonstrate how uh, poses and chairs can kind of denote different emotions. Um, so I guess the first uh, pose that I'm um, posing is called the ankle lock. Um, and basically how it works is you add a character, you move it sort of into place where you want, um, you select a bone and then you open up your phone, um, and you go to an address and then you just rotate your phone and that's how I'm rotating all the bones here. So my process is basically select a bone, rotate it a little bit, um, select another bone, rotate it a little bit. In the beginning, I set up a couple cameras uh, so that I could just move around quickly, um, but actually mostly I just move the camera around manually. Um, here, I guess the next shot is first date. Uh, and so I guess it's a pensive or nervous looking person. This video, by the way, is sped up, uh, I think five times. So you can see it's pretty, um, it's pretty fast to pose characters, especially when you're using um, the cell phone. You can also use a DualShock controller, the PlayStation 4 controller, um, and the resolution is quite nice, so it, it feels pretty good. Um, let's see, what's the next one? The next one, I think, is the bookworm, um, and so I'm gonna start out with a female pose um, and kind of angle all the bones. This one, I guess, is probably the most complicated pose, but still pretty pretty easy. Um, that chair I modeled in Blender uh, took me like an hour <laughs> to model the chair. Took me longer to uh, model the chair than to pose all of these characters that I'm posing. Um, so yeah, that's ba basically how it works. You know, you're moving through. Um, I'm moving through these poses, trying to just um, get all of them uh, posed, and then I save them as presets uh, with names. And what's cool about that is once they're saved as presets, I can reuse them over and over and over again. Um, so in this particular case, I'm um, creating all these poses so that I can make a scene at the end with all of the um, with all the poses. And so you'll you'll see. Um, there's a couple things that I don't really like about how this thing works. One is the um, the fingers. Um, I think control controlling the hands is really annoying because if you want fine grain control, you have to you know zoom in and then and then um, basically rotate each digit of the fingers. Um, I think likely in the future, what I want to do is I want to have some sort of controller for the hands that will allow you to basically say left hand should be a fist right hand should be open you know spread fingers here here you can see me moving the fingers and it's it's a, it's not too bad but it's just annoying and especially if you want to do something simple but like close clasp hands or open hands or spread fingers um let's see what do i do next okay so here i'm going to create a room i'm going to I'm going to duplicate a bunch of these chairs. I'm going to add a bunch of characters. And then quickly, I just um, uh, pick the uh, presets. And so they're sort of generally in the locations where they should be. They're not quite sitting on the chairs or anything like that. But um, I just go through one by one, kind of like fix them how I want them. Um, Let's see, delete that guy, move. I'm gonna put a light in here and then I'm gonna bring down the ambient light. Um, re repose everybody, um, kinda make a little bit of a scene here. Um, and I've been inserting some shots just so I have them. I'm gonna repose. Um, now in this next segment, I'm going to um, not only pose, but I can also change the models so you'll see me um, change the morph targets. So that guy becomes fat, muscular. Um, change that to a to a girl, um, and then make that guy fat. Um, and those are all done with morph target sliders. You can see how easy it is to do that. Um, 
here I'm, I'm you know I'm, you can modify any any bone position and what's cool is every shot that you insert is basically the whole world is in that shot so you can make edits you can add objects things like that um, and then you can make more shots and uh, if you want to you can go back in storyboarder and then open up any of these shots and it's kind of like a snapshot in time you can edit anything um let's see what do i do here i guess i'm just inserting some of the shots <coughs> reposing a little bit here i thought it you know make some sort of uh scene between these two guys and then um make this guy more expressive by moving his uh hands open um and insert that shot and then the last um section is me just going through each one of these um boards that I've inserted um, and if I want I can basically open the scene for any one of these boards uh, and make changes um, that's a that's about it um, yeah it's pretty fast uh, pretty fast to pose thanks